Ooh, I didn't realize this. If you took balance affinity with, you didn't get in getting seven and a half yards instead of just five. Right? Wow, seven and a half more yards. Wow, that'd be that would actually be kind of kind of dope. That would make Thrash almost. That would make Thrash sixteen yards like it was with the other one. Thrash would be sixteen yards. Mighty Bash would be thirteen yards. Mango would be thirteen yards. Oh my God, what would incapacitating roars be, dude? For real. Incapacitating Roar is now a... 35 yards, man. <laughs> That's not even fair, man. 35 yards? No, no, no rogue would get near you. Ah, Vanish. Incapacitating Roar. Knocks everything out of stealth. <laughs> Within 35 yards. It's 35... My God, that's 70 yards. That's a 70 yard diameter. That's nuts, dude. That's crazy. That's nuts, man. Mm. Let's see. Mighty Bash is 12 yards. Thrash is 16 yards. Mangles 12 yards. My God, dude. I wonder what the radius on Lunar Beam is now. Cause that'd be that that that's the real question right there. What's the what's the range on Lunar Beam now? Holy crap! <laughs> look at this! Look at this AE, dude. That's crazy, dude. In a in a raid or in a dungeon as a main tank, that would just be crazy. You'd heal all the off tanks with this. Okay, well it doesn't it doesn't heal your off tanks, but it does damage. My God, dude. Country song. That's just oh, good God. That's crazy. Oh, Wild Charge. Wild Charge would have a 32-yard range now. <laughs> Overrun has a 32-yard range. Good God. Oh, man. The only problem is, is that, oh, my God, Stampeding Roar works with everything within 52 yards. So that's a 104-yard diameter. That's golly. People would be getting up and going at that point, yo. Holy smokes. That's crazy, man. Oh, Displacer Beast. Displacer Beast would have a 27-yard range. I could, I could get out of the range of you, like, all your major abilities. Like, rogues wouldn't be able to catch me. Shadow Step wouldn't reach me. Shadow Strikes wouldn't, wouldn't reach me. Uh... Mortal Coil wouldn't reach me. Charge wouldn't reach me. Heroic Leap wouldn't freaking reach me. Good God, dude. That's that's kind of dope, actually. Hmm. That makes Balance Affinity kind of cool. But, I mean, then again, you still... But you but you lose Swift Mend. You lose Ysera's Gift. But now, if you played Boomy with this... If you played Boomy and you took Restoration Affinity... Whoa. That would be nasty, dude. Hey, we're, what's up, Ruptured? We're just we're testing out some legendaries, dude. Testing out some legendaries, man. That's crazy, though, man. Holy crap! Thirty-two yard range on charge. Twenty-seven yard range on displacer. Thirty-five yard range on incapacitating and we're on a fifty-two yard range on stampeding roar. Good God. <laughs> And all my abilities hit from like 12 yards, 12 yards, 13, no, 16 yards on Thrash. Swipe is 16 yards. I just, I, I want to duel a rogue. I want to duel a rogue right now. Like, straight up, I want to duel a rogue right now and, and have Thrash and Swipe and just get his butt out of stealth all day. Mmm. That's crazy, man. That's nuts, man. 16-yard range on Thrash. Good gravy. 
Oh my god. How what would the range on Galactic Guardian be? It'd be procking everywhere. Tanking with Resto Affinity, you still need to have no boss beating your face to use the heal. Or only if Sarah's gift is good in that affinity. Well, in, yeah, 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 yeah. In PvE, yeah. In P no, you'd never take Resto Affinity in PvE. No, 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 no. You take Balanced Affinity. If you're talking pure PvE, you take Balanced Affinity. If you're Guardian Druid, you don't take anything else. Because Ysera's Gift doesn't heal you unless, you know, everybody else around you is at 100%. And that's never going to happen in Raid, so Ysera's Gift is almost pointless. But, and you never, like I said, you never get out of bear form to heal yourself, so you're, you're screwed. But, what would be nice is Balance Affinity, because, I mean, even without the Legendary, you, your range on Thrash is going to be 13 yards. And the same thing with Swipe. Your, your, your Mangle is going to be 10 yards. So if you take Balance Affinity with Incarnation, your mangle is going to hit three targets within 10 yards of you, dude. So, yeah, Incarn Balance Affinity all day if you're, if, you're, if you're Guardian. But that's if you're looking for, like, you know, being able to spread growls around. But if you're not interested in having, like, if you're not worried about losing threat, then Galactic Guardian is what you're going to take in PvE. Because having Galactic Guardian with Balance Affinity, you'd never run out of range. You take ba Blood Frenzy... Blood Frenzy, Guttural Roars, Blast, or or Wild Charge, rather. You wouldn't take Guttural Roars in PV. So Blood Frenzy, Wild Charge, Balance Affinity. This one doesn't really matter. Raid bosses aren't going to be affected by Mighty Bash or Mass Entanglement or Typhoon anyway. I like Mass Entanglement for those times that mobs, like, you know, try to go after your healers so you can instant root them. And then this tier, I, I'm going to go Galactic Guardian. Because that's 15 Rage on a Moonfire. And that thing procs a ton. I like A lot. Like, your bleed ticks from Thrash, which is already going to have a 13-yard range, are going to tick this, and they're going to activate this. So if you've got three or four mobs, take Galactic Guardian, dude. But as far as, like, this tier, I don't know. I, I, Galactic Guardian, I mean, yeah. Guardian of the Illune would be best for PvE. And, but this one would be completely up to you. Lunar Beam is really nice if, like, it's a fight where your healers are going to get a lot of pressure. And you want to try and alleviate their, you know, them having to heal you a lot. But otherwise, I think in PVE you're gonna take, you're gonna take pulverize the rend and terror. Pulverize is great because like you only have to apply it once every 20 seconds because it lasts 20 seconds. It reduces all damage you take by 8 percent. Whereas in rend and terror is 6 percent, but rend and terror wins out if you can get your hands on, uh, yeah, this one. If you can get this legendary. Then Rend and Terror wins out. But otherwise, in PV, you're going to take Pulverize. There's, there's no reason not to take Pulverize. Because 8% reduction in damage you take, and that's just that's just too nice. But yeah, like, I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and, let me go, let me, I don't want to spend any more of these bad boys. Let me go in here and I'll, and all the guys actually, I'll actually show you. Actually, let me go to the target dummies. I'll show you guys the reason why I like Galactic Guardian. I don't want to hear about plumbing companies. That's just nasty, right? You know what they do all day? All right, let me show you what Guardian Druids are going to be capable of. Okay, Pulverize, Guardian of the Elune, Galactic Guardian, Mass Entanglement, Balance Affinity, Wild Charge, Blood Frenzy. Which Legendary would you take in PvE? That is the ultimate question. All right. Hmm. Honestly, this one, you would want to go, you'd want to go Everlasting Encasement for Thrashes, and then you're going to come in here and take Rend and Terror. Alright, now I'm going to get over here, and I'm going to hit this one target, but now watch this. You see, Galactic Guardian's already procced. I'm full rage. Galactic Guardian. Galactic Guardian's procking again. Galactic Guardian. Spend all that rage. Another Galactic Guardian. Another Iron Fur. Okay, I'll do another one. There's another Galactic Guardian. Look at my rage bar, dude. Are you seeing this? This is what makes Guardian Druids so godly. Look, my rage bar is just shooting up like crazy. 
Holy crap. This is crazy, dude. Full rage bar already. This is what I'm talking about, boys. This right here. This I, I, I can't spin my rage fast enough, dude. For, I just got three iron furs off. Yeah, just thrashing for days, man. This is what makes the Guardian Druid so godly, man. And I'm taking 10% less damage from all these targets. All of these targets, all six of them have bleeds on them. Five stacks. And the great thing about this is that so many of these abilities feed into... Did you see that? I got three mangles. I got three procs of gore. Okay, so let's read gore. Using Thrash, Swiper, Moonfire has a 20% chance to reset the cooldown of mangle. Alright, so... When you saw... Like, let's see how many I can get. There's one gore. Alright. There's one. There's one. There's one. There's another one. I mean, this is just crazy. I mean, I'm literally getting gore every single time. This is why Balance Affinity is so awesome, because using Thrash, Swiper, Moonfire depends on what you're hitting. If Swiper, Thrash hit multiple targets, they have 20% per target. It's not. It doesn't mean if I hit, you know, five targets, I have 100% chance. No, what I'm saying is, if each target you hit it gives you a 20% chance to proc a free mangle. It takes mangle completely off the cooldown and gives you four additional rage. Which basically turns mangle into a... See, there was two of them. I got, I got two gores to proc. I mean, this is just nuts. There's another one. There's two of them in the same time. There's one. I mean, swipe is hitting six targets. Mangle just, gorgeous keeps procking every time. They have proc three times. And Galactic Guardian's just going off like, just, just going off like it ain't nothing. So, I just, you can't, this is one spec you're not going to be able to get away from as a Guardian in PvE. Which is why I'm so excited to play Guardian in Legion. Because it's going to be my main in Dungeons and Raids. The first thing I'm doing as soon as I get the freaking... Level 110, heroics, man. All dead gum day. You will not get me away from them. And I will lose my freaking mind if I pick up... Where is it legendary I'm wearing? If I get this legendary, I'm going to lose my mind in PvE, dude. I will lose my ever-loving mind. Now, if I, get, if I get this one for PvP, I won't play Feral in PvP. I'll play Guardian all day. Whichever one of these I get first. If I get this one first... Before I get this one, I'm playing Feral in PvP. If I get this one first, I'm playing Guardian in PvP. I won't play anything else. I'll be I'll be doing World PvP with this Legendary. But yeah, this is just insane. I can't spin Rage fast enough. I just can't. It's impossible. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I mean, you can't push buttons fast enough, man. I mean, Mangle keep, like... Galactic Guardian's proccing. Look, look at all these Moonfires. And then I, I won't even push Moonfire one time. I won't push Moonfire one time. I'm not pushing Moonfire. This Galactic Guardian going off. Look at this. There's one. There's, there's another. There's two of them. There's two of them. There's another one. And each one, and each time these moonfires are proccing, that's 15 rage, dude. That's 15 rage. Now I'm not getting the 15 rage from each one of those moonfires. What they do is they buff moonfire to give me 15 rage on the next time I cast it. So after that's the one downside to Galactic Guardian, I think, is the fact that you have to inst you have to reproc. I would much rather them take the 15 rage away and make it five rage, but make it come from the automatic moonfires. I think that would be awesome. 